Uh, one one today, Neil. Is that a fair result? I think on the balance of the game, yeah, probably is a fair result. Um, our fourth time we played each other. Um, every game's been very tight, either way. Um, but yeah, I think um, plenty of endeavour from both sides. Um, I think yeah, probably a fair result. A uh, big moment in the second half there, the penalty save from uh, Liam Isherwood. Uh, how did that move come about, and uh, what did you make of his performance? Well, it's difficult. I think I don't want to harp on, and I keep saying I don't want to harp on, and then harp on um, about injuries. But you know, we've got so many injuries, and then we lost Bailey to a to an instance at home. Um, but he slashed his hand quite badly. Um, you're not allowed to loan from Premier League clubs once the window is shut. So um, we're very grateful um, to Atkinson, Stanley, John Coleman, Jeb Brannan, and everyone there. But um, you know we were able to bring Liam in at such short notice, and obviously Liam's had a spell at Staley Bridge last season, I believe. Um, he's a confident kid. Um, you know, baptism of fire a little bit. He hasn't trained with us. So he doesn't even know the lad's names really, so yeah, I thought he was very good, he kicked it really well, made a great penalty save. You know, the first goal, first penalty, I think we, well, Joe Bunny's adamant in there, he's gone to kick the ball and he's, he's had his legs clipped. Um, but we don't defend the situation very well, which doesn't help Liam. But yeah, o overall I thought he done really well. Uh, is there any sort of time scale with uh, Bale's injury? No, obviously he's, um, he's got a severe cut of his, of his um, hand. Which is in, it's got stitches, so it's definitely out um, Tuesday, probably probably the next Saturday. Got to take it easy as well. Um, we brought Liam in; he's here for 28 days um, initially. Um, so you know, uh, there's no rush. The key thing in everything, you know, just been saying to Craig Curran as well, it's making sure that when lads do come back, um, they, they stay back, and it's not a short-term fix. Uh, Joe Bunny as well made his debut today. Uh, what was uh, what you thought of his performance? He worked hard, worked really hard, um, occupied the two centre backs who were decent. Um, to be fair, he tired obviously, he's not played hardly any football um, in recent weeks and months, um, but he's experienced. I think, you know, we're a little bit at the moment in between in terms of, of the squad, as, as, you, as you know, in terms of, you know, as I say, with the injuries and that and the changing systems. But I think in my, in my own head now, we're not going to be far away from this, is going to be the group. We may have, you know, we thought we'd added the forward yesterday, um, but that was um, stopped by the AFL because it was common evidence from crew, it was all done and um, apparently if you've already had one player come from an AFL club and goes back and plays for his parent club, he can't come back to the club that he came from, so um, that only came to light yesterday. So yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm, what I am happy with in the last three games, we had, as I say, after the, you know, we had the series talk and then the last three games, Effort commitment's been there. I just think I said it the other day, and I just told him, and then I'll be saying it again on here today that you know, in trans when the ball does turn over, um, we've been in some great situations on the counter attack to pick the right pass. We haven't picked the right pass, um, and that was exactly the same against Ashton. And uh, Joe Bunny, a very uh, versatile player. Uh, do yeah. you see that is uh, that is his best uh, position today? Centre well, that's where he's been brought into play here. You know, he's not. He's not. Don't get me wrong. If he leaves a centre back or. You know, he can play left back or whatever. Like anybody, you know, he'll he'll, um, he'll be utilising that position. But he's predominantly been here, brought here to to help us get up the pitch. Um, I think that has been our biggest problem um, in recent weeks. Um, you know, we've had the ball doesn't stay, it doesn't occupy the centre backs. Joe's done that for the most part today. As I say, he's always going to tire. Pitch is heavy. Um, but yeah, very, from a first game perspective. We've got to realise as well as you know, we'll put these lads together in a very short space of time. Um, Joe's first, oh, first and only training session was on Thursday. Um, so yeah, so onwards and upwards. Come to Radcliffe Borough. We've been doing really well. Had a great season. And um, we've got a point. And, you know, we'll take that and move on. And on to Tuesday night, stay with Celtic. Yeah. Uh, what do you expect from that? Tough game. I went to watch them um, on Tuesday night against Radcliffe actually. Um, first half, um, Radcliffe were on top. Um, you know, probably could have won the game in that, in that time, scored two goals, 2-0. I was very impressed with the way Stavenbridge came out second half and gave it a right goal, they scored. Um, and then, you know, it was um, all hands to the pump, right up until the, the final whistle. Again, you know, you know, in this league, anyone can beat anybody. The key thing is that we turn up, we do what we can do. Um, you know, get that consistency. And I've seen three games now of consistency in terms of work rate. Um, Doing things that we we're asking the players to do. As I say, we need to be better in certain situations, but 
if you add in two or three new players every time you every time you put a team out, hopefully we can start to get some stability over these next you know few games. Cheers now. Okay. Cheers, guys.